Hello everybody! Today we are going to learn how to draw an umbrella and some rain. Look at that. Wow. Well, I wouldn't use this as a real umbrella because this piece of paper wouldn't do a very good job of being an umbrella. No, no. But all we need to create this umbrella is an arc and a line. We can make this umbrella with just an arc and a line? What? I don't believe that. Well, let's see how it all fits together. All right, let's get started with an arc. And we'll make our arc. We're gonna start here, and we're going to go over to this side of the paper. And the arc is nice and big and broad across. So, start here, go up and over just like that. So now we have a nice arc. And you can go over your line again if you like. I'm going to go over my line just to make it how I want it to be. And now we're going to make three more arcs at the bottom here. Right here. One, two, three. All right, next we're going to use two lines. One will go up at an angle, and the other will come down at an angle. That's the tip. Next, we're going to create two more lines. One will be right here, and this will be... And then the next will be right next to it. And now we are going to create the handle. We'll draw an arc, a small arc, right here. And we'll do a line that comes down, and then another line that comes down on this side. Okay, next we're going to create another arc. That arc will be right here and come out like that. And now we'll do another arc coming from this line all the way out and then up to the same point and then we will do another arc and join that together to make the handle. Now if you like you can go over your lines sometimes I do that in my drawings where I'll go over the line again to make it a little bit thicker just like that and just to join my lines a little bit better. Okay and then you can just trace the whole outline again make it a little thicker. Okay, this kind of, this looks like a J. It's like that, but we used arcs and lines to create this. Next, we have just two more arcs here. One, and then two, and now we get to create the rain. The rain, we're just going to use lines. Now, you can decide if you want your, lane, your rain to be coming straight down or at an angle or an angle this way. That's up to you. I'm going to make mine on an angle. So I'm going to turn my paper like this to make it easier for me to pull my hand as I draw the lines, okay? Sometimes if you turn your paper where your hand is more comfortable, it's easier to draw straight lines. You can practice that. So here we go. Start here and we're just going to draw a line and then another line. And then just keep repeating that and put your lines in different places because rain is all over the place. There is not any one spot that rain is going to be. It will be all over. And we have a lot of raindrops coming. Okay, so it looks like a very windy day blowing the rain this way. Okay, and you can continue putting lines that are raindrops falling. Okay, and there you go. And just like that, we have an umbrella with some rain. Oh boy, do you think that this would work? Do you think if you take this umbrella outside, that it would keep the rain off of your head? I don't know. I don't think so, Mr. Mike. <laughs> well, have a great day. Thanks so much for drawing with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com.
And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.